IT Conductor Cloud-Based SAP Monitoring and Automation. This topic covers the centralized administration and automated operations, which is common for housekeeping, centralized basis administration work of running OS, DB, as well as SAP uh, jobs, as well as scripts, reports, etc. Taking a look at an SAP environment from the cloud, we're able to click into the environment, look at the jobs that are in here, example setup, deleting an old app dump is a common housekeeping basis task. It can be scheduled from IT Conductor instead of from SAP. So then you can specify the program name, the variant, as well as the user ID that will execute that particular job. That's a simple single step job. We can look at the iterations that it's ran. Here we've shown a couple of times that it's run. Look at the log. Log looks representation like SM37 job overview inside SAP. And here we can see that it was executed using the user that we specified and each log that is reported is again logged back into IT Conductor. So we can have a central place. We can also specify the application ID that's going to run that particular job. So here we have a user ID that has ex execute permission of job inside SAP and we can specify that user. You can run jobs on demand or you can schedule them. Here we can run Let's take a look at this job here. We have a uh, job that's finished, but we'd like to run it again. We can either just click start, or we can take a look at how the uh, activity is defined. Here we wanted to run it periodically. We can specify repeat, and then the interval in minutes. That's how we would simply turn a job into a scheduled job that runs periodically. Here we can restart on demand, and that job will run and the scheduler will pick up the uh, definition and fire it against SAP. Next section, we're looking at database scripts and reports. Uh, a common is SAP HANA as one of the examples we will go through here. Uh, HDB is the HANA database belonging to the HNA SAP BW environment. Uh, drilling into the service grid, we have a HANA database and again similarly we have SQL jobs. Uh, a common uh, reporting mechanism provided by SAP that's often executed on the system manually are uh, SAP mini checks for HANA and this could be applied to multiple different database type platform as well. But here let's take a look at a bunch that we've defined. Um, we've created these particular SQL jobs and taking a look at the past execution for some of these that we run on a regular basis. We can see that uh, clicking on the log itself Here's the report of the largest HANA tables that were run by the actual uh, mini basis check for HANA. Again, these reports are provided via SQL. Let's take a look at the um, definitions of some of these. Again, it's very simple for us to centralize the scripts or reports by putting in the SQL code. Here's the definition of the actual activity itself and the repeat interval is 1440 which is uh, one day. Uh, simple, you can copy paste your SQL into here and we execute it against the database without having any agents. Again, this is executed from the cloud. Let's take a look at uh, other things we have defined. So you can either again do it on demand or schedule. Um, Typically, if you want to run something to check parameters or send a report to SAP, you can just execute on demand by clicking those uh, red and green circle. That will submit the job. Once it's run, we can take a look at the status. It's in queue. IT Conductor will then uh, dispatch the job and we can take a look at the activity as well as the history to see the various different times it has ran. The nice thing is it will keep those particular job reports, these particular checks, health checks. You can see what the configuration were at a particular day or time. If you made some changes, uh, you can run it again and see if there are differences. Again, here we're taking a look and monitoring the status. It's starting. And we can put this in total refresh as well and take a look again. Now it succeeded. So we can go and review the log of this particular report. So this is a report format. Again, you can print um, this. You can copy it. You can also schedule various different mechanisms for notification. Here we just uh, example, look at the parameters for HANA um, SP7. 
So again, everything here can be done on demand as a basis housekeeping job or a particular thing about kicking off uh, whether it's a report or a SQL against database to do a particular task. Um, here we're looking at a mini check for the configuration overview. And it's a good configuration check and repository for various times that you want to capture the configuration of the system. And sometimes SAP will ask those. Here, the next uh, section again, we look at the OS. So we've looked at SAP, we've run the database from the hierarchy of the SAP BW on HANA environment. We can look into the services of the HANA uh, to see where it runs. Again, the service here comprise of various different HANA services. It could be applied again for other platforms of database as well. We have a host that is associated to this particular HANA database node and drilling into that, we'll be able to see that uh, there's also a job section under the host. Here we can define OS level jobs that comprise of uh, either admin scripts, scripts that you want to run, like for instance we want to do any type of HANA backup or log cleanup. So here's an example of a HANA backup script, it's a simple script. Um, we can SSH or Telnet into the system securely from the web and be able to automate a lot of these and centralize these scripts. So we can look at the um, actual run for instance. Various different types of uh, OS activity can be coordinated instead of using cron. We're doing this and take a look at various different times that we might have run log backup or cleanup processes on the system. So essentially you have the power to automate and manage a lot of the daily or weekly or monthly operations from a centralized scheduler without having to uh, go and do it at the OS, the database or at the SAP scheduler level. This kind of basis automation greatly reduces the uh, overhead of managing a various different uh, distributed system all from the cloud without any agent installation. So here we take a look at a HANA restart that we've done for our development environment uh, on a nightly basis as an example. It will automatically restart the environment. And uh, similarly with uh, garbage collection processes, we can schedule those to run every so often or by exception. And the other examples that we have done, if uh, memory exceeds a certain threshold, we can also execute these type of uh, garbage collection or we can just schedule on a regular basis. Uh, again, to clean up and maintain a healthy environment includes removing traces. This is an example of uh, removing backup logs and traces that are inside the HANA trace destination environment. This hierarchy shows the SAP environment sitting on database and OS and as you can see provides flexibility in managing the environment. For further information on basis automation, visit our blog and the various topics we have there. Thank you very much.